Welcome to the quiet place. Listen. There are little chickadees with blunt caps on their heads right above me. Chick, chick, chick. Today, we get to focus on so many things that trees have given to us. I'm under a tree that has these really prickly cones. <laughs> it's a gum tree. And lots of needles. These are the leaves of the tree that have dried out. Trees give us so much and I'm so grateful. Today, we'll continue Gratitude Week with the Giving Tree. This book is written by Shel Silverstein. It was published by Harper and Row many years ago. So maybe find your own quiet place. Listen to what is around you and then find a, a spot in which you're ready to hear. Once there was a tree and she loved a little boy. And every day, the boy would come, is running toward the tree, and he would gather her leaves. And make them into crowns and play king of the forest. These leaves would be kind of prickly as crowns. He would climb up her trunk. and swing from her branches and eat apples. And they would go play high and go seek. The tree is reaching out its branch to see the little boy. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade And the boy loved the tree very much. And the tree was happy. But time went by and the boy grew older. Now he wrote the name of someone else in the tree. I wonder if that hurt the tree. And the tree was often alone. being alone after having such a good friend. Then one day the boy came to the tree and the tree said, come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches. I'll read this first and then I'll show you the pictures. There's a lot of word on this, words on this page. Come climb up my trunk, swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. Here's the boy having this discussion with the tree. The tree's being very generous. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. I'll read and then flip the pages to you. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree became sad. Then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy and she said, come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. So the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the 
the tree was happy. And she was happy. She has no more branches. She can't grow any apples without branches to grow leaves on. I'll read them and flip. But the boy stayed away for an even longer time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come boy, she whispered, come and play. I'm too old and sad to play, said the boy. Now he's wrinkled. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Come down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. Now the boy is stooped and old. He has a hat on and he's carrying a briefcase. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. What's all that's left of a tree? Just a little stump. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. <sighs> Sorry, said the tree. I wish I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I'm just an old stump. I'm sorry. Now the boy is an old man, very thin, looking at the stump. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I'm very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. So I encourage you today to find a quiet place, maybe by a tree. Give the tree a, plat, a pat and keep it happy. Thanks for joining me today in my quiet place. I hope you go find yours.